really got some problems. I've got a big flashing red light on the Drobo. This is my Drobo 4 bay unit, and I've got three hard drives in there, as you can see from the missing green light. And I've got a red light, looks like I've got a uh, drive failure here. Here's the interface, flashing one terabyte. Now I started, interestingly, this morning I got some errors about uh, the drive was recovering, and then I came back and later on and, and they were all green lights, so I thought, oh, that's, that's weird. Um, but then I woke up this morning to flashing red light here, so I guess the drive started, start, started dying last night. So I'm stuck here now. I've actually I've actually got a backup in progress. Interestingly, last night I guess that would be the time for it to fail. Obviously, you know when I'm when I'm processing a backup when it's spinning, spinning, spinning. Um, the other thing is that I lost uh, one of the larger drives that I had in there. I have a 500 gig, a one terabyte, and a one terabyte in an empty slot for a total space I think uh, of uh, 1.3 terabytes of space was that correct maybe not quite that I forget how much it was anyways it only shows a total total amount of space of 509 now and it obviously shows a big red circle because it's all used up because all the data is on two drives so but uh, thankfully I do have uh, the data backed up um, even if this ba backup today fails this uh, time machine backup um, there is a copy of it on Time Machine, uh, an older copy of the data. But this is almost done. Eight minutes to go. It's just running off the two drives, basically. The uh, the one terabyte and the 500 gigabyte drives, it's running off that for now while it's flashing. And there's nothing I can do about it because I don't have a, a drive to stick in there. Now what it's backing up to is my neck here. And I actually turned this on the other night because uh, my wife ha lost some Yahoo emails from a hack. And uh, we were able to restore um, the Yahoo emails from Time Machine, which actually wasn't my first thought. Um, but I've got uh, two one terabyte drives in the in the store, just in JBOD configuration, which is, means just just bunch of drives, effectively. And so two terabytes of storage, and so um, her system is restored. Um, but my system is still re still backing up to it. So, the next part of the video, I guess, is going to be me uh, finding a drive somewhere. And I've looked on uh, Kijiji. Uh, I've looked on Amazon. I think maybe the best option, this is Best Buy I'm looking at. And for a one terabyte, you're paying 60 bucks. I was looking on Amazon, and they have this Seagate 3 terabyte expansion. And I've seen you can actually tear these things apart and get at the, the, the uh, internal hard drive, basically, inside of it and uh, use that in your Drobo and uh, apparently it works it doesn't really matter the quality of the drive although I do like C8 so that would be good but for 130 bucks you get a 3 terabyte drive now you can't buy a 3 terabyte drive for uh, that cheaply otherwise like a standalone internal hard drive uh, but you can buy this case and this enclosure this USB 3 enclosure with a 3 terabyte drive for 130 bucks uh, plus free shipping so that's that's not bad. Um, there's actually used ones there for 120. I don't know if it's worth it to save nine dollars on a used one. You know, nine nine bucks. I don't know if it's. I'd probably just rather go for a new one at that point. <clears throat> so I need to watch some YouTube videos see if I can actually tear this unit down, pull it apart, and uh, and get at the the drive inside. And uh, I'm assuming it's a, a SATA SATA based configuration, but the YouTube will tell me so. That's the excitement for the day, and uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm just leaving this flashing red for now. I, it, it is working, but if I lose one more drive, then it, that's it. It's toast. I, I've lost all my data on there. Again, thankfully, I'm, uh, I've am i got my time machine backup, and it's just verifying now, so it's completed. It's it's full backup of the Drobo and my iMac. So my, The Drobo is connected to FireWare on my iMac here, my 2010 iMac. And so the the uh, time machine backs up the SSD, which is a 500 gig S no 256 SSD, and it also uh, backs up the Drobo data. So that that drive will get me be getting full as well soon one of these days. But I think there's like eight, uh, 700 gigs. Oh, there you go, 781 gigs left on my my time machine backup, which is again is the two one terabyte drives basically. So, all right, I'll get back to you when I get a hard drive, and uh, we can we can see how the process goes to actually uh, get the 
the new hard drive in there. Guys, just a quick little update here. I, I want to first see, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for a hard drive. Um, and here is the, the status. It's still blinking red. What I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try and pop this, uh, pop this hard drive out and pop it back in. Just see if, what that does. So I'm going to push that pop out. It's red anyways. And it's getting stuck here. Sorry about the video. This is really a two-handed operation. I don't know why it's stuck here, actually. Put this here. And there we go. Now, this is my Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte. I don't know if this is the drive that I purchased. I purchased one drive for $40. I'm not sure if this is it or not. So I don't know the history uh, of this. Um, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Doesn't smell burned or anything, so I'm actually gonna. So it says add a drive there and empty drive at the bottom. So this is a you know a critical warning. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this back in. Let's just see if it picks it up again uh, or recognizes that it's bad again here. Let's see. Sorry for the horrible camera work here. Let's push this in again. See if it again recognizes it as a bad drive, or maybe it will. Um, reformat it. So, stuck it in. It's going to spin it up now. It's flashing. And uh, this should shortly show. There's the one terabyte. So it detects the new drive, um, but is it actually going to... It gave me a warning up in the corner there. Is it actually going to do anything with it? Maybe format it or something? Because um, I don't know that... I mean, it, hard drives rarely go bad. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be able to do anything with it or not. It's basically flashing red. So whatever it is, it's still dead. We go back down here. Now this is flashing, so it's it's looking at the drive. And maybe, maybe if we're lucky, we'll try and reformat it. And actually try and use it again. I'm going to wait till it's maybe a solid red here. go back up here. You can see the error here currently is uh, well low capacity and it's detected a hard drive failure and it's not doing anything about that drive. Still just flashing red so I don't know maybe it's just completely dead. If I put my finger on it this one's spinning So it's trying to spin it up. I feel that it's trying to spin up the drive. I can feel the vibration. Yeah, it's spinning it up and down. Yeah, it's not staying spun up. So it spins up, has trouble, and then spins down again. I just feel it kind of pulsing on and off, the vibration there. So... So that didn't do any good, I think, uh, guys. Uh, it's it's not uh, you know it's not uh, uh, reformatting or anything that I know of. So I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I still need to decide what I'm gonna do for a drive. I think I'm gonna go for a three terabyte drive uh, expansion drive and pull that apart and use the drive out of it. Um, but I'll keep you updated as soon as I get a drive, which will be in the next second here. I'll just splice the video in and. Uh, just as an update, I did uh, plug the drive into my toaster, my Sabrent toaster unit, and it did spin up, it appears, um, but well, it's not spun up right now. And uh, I've obviously plugged this in by USB, but it is not showing in disk utility. Now, this is my Drobo unit here. This is my SSD on my Mac but it's not showing um, the other drive. If I go to Finder, it is not seeing that other drive. So I think that drive is actually truly, truly dead. Um, you know, it's rare that I see a hard drive actually die. Honestly, this is probably one of the first that I've actually seen completely die. Uh, well, I guess I've had them die before. I don't, it's been a long time. 
Usually they last for quite a long time. So this is not even showing up in my drive toaster. So that drive is uh, completely dead, unfortunately. So I will definitely have to uh, do something about it. Well, guys, I'm getting desperate here. I need space critically. And I can't have another drive fail, otherwise I'm toast. So, I pulled my off-site backup out of... Just had it in, sitting in my uh, my shed basically. It's a 500 gig, uh, 2.5 inch drive, so uh, not uh, a size that you're supposed to put in here. I'm gonna see if it works though. Now this isn't gonna be ideal. I still need another drive. But you now this is all soaking wet and freezing cold. That's not good. This uh, this thing is freezing. So this is a Seagate Momentum XT 500. Gigabyte. Um, it's not going to. It's not going to replace the one terabyte I had in there. Um, but I should be able to plug in it. I think because it's just your your plain old uh, SATA connector. Now it's freezing cold. I should probably. Yeah, now there's water on it. I might. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to let this warm up a bit, and then we're going to slide this thing in. So I decided to um, slide this into my toaster. And power this on. I'm just going to see in disk utility how it looks, and I'll maybe I'll do a quick format of it. Uh, the Drobo does format it, but this uh, will confirm that it's still good. And uh, give me some options here. So let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Disk utility. No, no, no. F disk. Disk. Utility. There we go. Alright, so there's my disk. Now, where's my USB? Always helps to plug in the USB drive. So, there it is. So, this is my 500 gig drive. It has 8 gigs free. So, I'm actually going to uh, try and uh, erase this thing just to get it ready. Erase. Erase data, yes. There we go. Scrum data. Now this will get it nice and fresh. And like I said, I should just be able to slide it right into the Drobo. It's going to be a little unconventional because it's a 2.5 inch versus a 3.5 inch. Um, but otherwise, it should work fine. So erase process is complete. Good, and nice and quick, that's all I wanted. So 500 gigs free, 500 gigs, there we go, use 400 megabytes. So I will uh, unplug that from my toaster, and the dry, and it looks okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, try and plug it into the drive. So of course, uh, it's asking to add another drive, so I'm gonna add another drive right there where it's asking for it. So we'll see if I can, uh, if I can get this in here. Now, I should be able to, let's see, but I just slide it in on the side. Again, it's a, it's a 2.5 inch, so it, uh, I'll let go in all the way. So you can see how far in it's going there. Can I plug it in? This is going to be a two hand job. There we go. Plugged in. Yeah, so that, that is way in there, and it is flashing red, so now it's going to go ahead and uh, it should scrub the drive, waiting for this to recognize that it, I did put a 500 gig drive in here, it is flashing green, let's go down here, it's flashing orange, so it's looking at that, now that should mean that it's right in the data. Alright, and yes, we have uh, 500 gig, it recognizes it. So this is going to give me some breathing room, and uh, this will prevent, so now I can afford to lose one more drive, uh, and it still protect all my data. So now, I mean, it, it's uh, drive protection is in progress. It's going to copy the data across all the drives again, span them all. Now, as long as I don't lose a drive now, I should be good and I, I will still be able to uh, lose one more drive and still have the same set of data. 
Now you can see that um, I'm about 60% full now because I, I pulled out a one terabyte drive and I put it in a 500 gig drive. So cut my space down by half on that one drive. So this is suggesting four hours. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll get back to you when it's complete. And so far I haven't lost any data yet. And uh, the backup, my, my time machine backup, was still able to complete even though um, I was missing, uh, even though that drive totally died. So this is going to get me by for the next little while until I can find another drive. And when I get another drive, I'll probably just put it in the empty slot. And I'll just leave, leave 500 gigabyte in there. And uh, as I need more space, I'll, you know, I'll swap out one of the 500 gigs for a new one. Assuming I don't lose another hard drive here. So like I said, this gives me a little bit of breathing room for the, uh, for the time being. Uh, it's showing, it's calculated I have uh, another 400 gigs that I now could use and my data is still safe. Let's go over and look at the capacity here. There's the capacity, 500 gigs uh, used and about 400 gigs, just under 400 gigs that I could still use up. So this gets me by, like I say, until I can get another drive from Drobo or, uh, not from Drobo, from Amazon or something like that. Um, but that it is uh, copying data across. Now my data is all accessible right now just that uh, it's uh, it's copying it across all the drives. And there it is flashing. And there it is the, on the machine about 60% full. So that is good. I feel better now uh, that I've got three drives. I'm hoping this uh, write, which says it's going to take four hours, hoping that completes before I lose another drive. It was a little odd that I lost a drive. Again, it's it's rare that you lose a hard drive. Uh, they don't last forever, but they usually usually keep kicking around as long as you don't bump them around and use them horribly. And I've not really used this one horribly. So if the saying is true: the Drobo is where hard guy, hard drives go to die, and that's what looks like uh, has occurred. I'll probably go ahead and, and uh, purchase a three terabyte drive off Amazon later for about 130 bucks. Pull it out of it, its enclosure, and I might put that three terabyte into my into my Netgear Stora and use that as uh, my time machine backup and then put the two one terabyte drives in here replace one 500 gig and then put the other terabyte in the empty slot there and that will give me uh, four complete drives so if I lose one um, I'll still have uh, hopefully plenty of space um, and I'll be able to recover a lot more quickly so uh, I'll leave it there guys, thanks for watching, um, hope this helps the next guy, and uh, it looks like you can use a 2.5 inch hard drive on the Drobo, and it seems to be okay. Uh, it'll be a little sketchy trying to pull it out again, uh, but I'll just stick my fingers in there and get it, but anyways. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. Here's a little update for you. The uh, data protection is still in progress, about, oh, about half an hour has, uh, has went by. And it went down from four hours to three hours. So we'll uh, keep watching it, see if it actually makes it all the way through. No hard drive failures yet. So far, so good. Quick update. It has been about three hours. Yeah, three hours. And this is saying 17 minutes. So it was originally estimating four hours. It's been a little less than four hours. It's probably gonna hap It's probably gonna end in about three and a half hours by the time I adjust for the times. So that is fairly accurate in the time it estimates to transfer the data. Uh, you know, assuming it's ac at a, it actually completes in 17 minutes. So a little update there for you, and I'll give you an update when it's done. All right, uh, I think this may be the final update for this video. Uh, it finally finished syncing. It was less than four hours. Um, so that's kind of nice to know. Everything is green. I have less free space as I had before. You can see I have only 400 gigs free now because I put in a smaller drive. Nice to know that you can enter, you can put in a 2.5 inch drive and you can also put in a smaller drive because I hadn't used up all the space yet. So it wasn't so critical where I had to add at least a drive of the same size or larger. Uh, because I wasn't using up very much space anyways. So that's kind of nice. So I've, I've used uh, 510 gigs, 57%. If I go down here, all green lights, everything is good. The the blue lights do indicate about 
60 or 70 percent, I guess that would be 60 percent uh, space used, and all green lights, so if I take the lid off, same idea, so that that's pretty nice. So that worked really well, I was able to back up even with a failed disk, and uh, I was able to access the data also while it was uh, fixing its data. So uh, now my next step in the next video will be um, actually trying to uh, find a hard drive, which I will do, and uh, putting that hard drive in and uh, showing you how that process works. I'll probably, uh, if I get a couple of one terabyte drives, I'll probably uh, put one in, let it synchronize, put one in the, the, the fourth space there, the empty space. Once that synchronizes after four hours or whatever it takes, then I'll, I might... Uh, I might replace the 500 gig, or I might not actually. I might. Um, it might just make sense to save some drives and not put my maximum space in there, just to save wear and tear, and uh, use up the space in the 500 gigs and wait for the one of the 500 gig drives to actually fail uh, before I start uh, pu putting wear and tear on a larger one, one terabyte drive or whatever else I end up getting. So. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, uh, and uh, I will provide an update video when I get another drive in there, and we will see you in the next video. Okay.